Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first of the two bonus episodes of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. In this episode, there's going to be two parts. Firstly, we're going to go look at some concept art, um, which we've unlocked through playing the game. And then secondly, we're going to try out the multiplayer of this game. Um, and this is also, you've probably not seen this so far because I've we never bothered showing it, but this is like the introduction to the Metroid Prime trilogy thing, which is a really cool intro with some really unique music, actually. As in, literally unique, it was only made for this. So, let's load up the first concept gallery. So, this is the promo art package. So, as you can see, it's just got some stuff. Early renders of... Umos. Ing Warrior. Warrior Ing, even. Uh, oh! Well, that's quite cool. I can zoom in a little bit. Dark Samus, like, surrounded by... Um, cool tentacles coming up. That's actually a really cool bit. More of that. Ooh, that's quite cool, the two of them fighting. Various parts. I think this was the... the Japanese uh, menu screen this is. Bits of Samus in the various suit. It really seems like you don't spend that long in the game in the various suit. You're in the dark suit for the vast majority of the game, really. Whereas the various suit is just a very nice colour and style, I must say. Oh, that's a cool one with, like, a Morbis around her. Oh, that's also... Oh, I kind of almost wish they'd use that one. Oh, maybe I should have used that for the thumbnail. Well, too late for it now, but that's quite cool with the Emperor Ring underneath. More Ingworms behind, and... I don't know whether that was ever used. That's certainly not the cover we had. Well, there we have that. That was the promo gallery, art gallery. What about the storyboard package? Oh, oh god, this is all sorts of things. I guess this is all explaining the plot of the game. Um, mildly cool to see, but I think I'd have to give it a bit more attention than I'm going to give it to you, so let's never mind that one. Um, sketch package. So I guess this is very early designs for things. That's a Metroid. No idea what that is. Maybe an early Luminoth? Very early plans for the Ing. Oh, those are also, I guess, little surface crawly armor creatures. Various forms of Darkling, perhaps. Oh, whatever that is, that never made it into the game, I don't think. That's Unless that's what a Briggsy looks like. I don't know. Cool bits of Luminoth architecture. There's some very cool stuff in here, actually. Luminoth suits. Oh, man, you never really see that, actually. I suppose that's a problem with Warrior Luminoth in their full armor. We only really, really see Umos. Oh, is that? Oh, creepy dead trooper. That's very cool. More bits of... Oh, oh, early Quadraxis. Or is that... No, that's actually Emperor Ring, isn't it? Yeah. Um, looks kind of like Quadraxis, but that's actually going to be an early Emperor Ring. Dark Samus. Some kind of tendril. Earlier draft for Dark Samus? Maybe it's certainly got a hand like a power suit hand, but maybe that's Luminoth as well. Looks like the Luminoth went through a lot of designs. Ah, oh, this is a Morbis, definitely. I'm looking, there's one little bit in particular that's interesting in here, but I'm perhaps not in this gallery, it's in one of the other ones. Bits of, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but that was like, uh, plant life, I guess. Some kind of Luminoth ship? Seems like the Luminoth, oh, Sanctuary Fortress, god, that looks cool. There's also some contention, in some of the footage of Metroid Prime and its kind of earlier versions, there's multiple moons, in some there's only one moon, so no one's quite sure which, uh, which, which um, Ether actually has. Um... But yeah, certainly a oh, digital dark world, they called it at this stage, rather than Sanctuary Fortress. But I guess, yeah, they, they, they seem to have a lot more designs for the Luminoth than ever actually made it. Luminoth Distress Signal. Luminoth Symbol Translation Key. Oh, so the Luminoth is actually... Those things do make up words when stuck together like that. That's kind of cool. Well, that's the sketch package. What about what we've got next? Creature, character, and boss. Let's go for creature next one. We're going to them in order. Oh, there's going to be various dark things, I suppose. Um, yeah, many of these made it into the actual game, I think. They clearly solidified the idea of what the Darklings looked like by then. And it's the same. Wow, I suppose they got, they got into a dark version of basically everything. That brain thing was never in the game, I don't think. Where, what's that? Oh, that's one of the Floguses that never really becomes a thing. Little watch drones. So these are, oh, these are all Luminoth mechanisms, those ones are. And yet, more Luminoth mechanisms that never made it into the game. I don't know what these are. That's a light, not a light flyer. Oh, there's a name for that one. Um... Fa little phasing light thing, light, uh, lumite, lumite, I think that was it. Splinters, pill bugs. Oh, that's the hideous blog, isn't it? Yes. Not sure what that is. Oh, that's a Grinchler, definitely. I love that name, it sounds like it's something from Harry Potter. Sand digger. Oh, that piece of shit, Resbit. I'm not sure what that is, but I don't think that was in the game. Unless, oh, unless that's, that's what the. Bomb Guardian looked like, the kind of Alpha Sand Digger. That's very clearly a quad. Chica, early draft, I'd guess. Yeah, must be. Definitely, I'd say. 
Unless that's one of those weird floating plant things, but it looks more like Chica. That never really came in, unless that's a very early form of an Ink Smasher. Yeah, well that's a real Ink Smasher and that's a Dark Ink Smasher. I like how they put it next to Samus in the Dark suit there to deliberately show the kind of similarities of Luminoth design. I like how there are the two kind of parts of Luminoth, uh, like of Luminoth building and style. There's this kind of big clunky Dark Suit style and then there's the really sleek, smooth Light Suit style. And you see both styles of architecture and building as well. Uh, oh, that's interesting. So that's a Hunter Ink, but it's also anchored to the ground in that form. Ugh, Boost Guardian, less than anyway, you the better. And various bits of warrior ring, I suppose. Oh, and whatever that is. Dark Grantula? No, that's the Grapple Guardian. That's quite cool. Character package. There aren't many characters in this game, so. Okay, it's Yumos. I don't know what that is. That's quite cool. Um, I guess these are some other, maybe an Ink Smasher or other ideas for... Wow, that thing looks like Cthulhu. I don't know. I honestly can't tell whether they're supposed to be Ing or Luminoth, which is interesting. That's a Space Pirate. Dark Pirate, I guess? Or the Dark Elite Pirate? I mean, you've got one eye in the middle. That's interesting. More Dark Pirate plans. Hard to tell the difference between Dark and Light Pirates. Well, these are the Galactic Federation Troopers. I don't know what that is, whether that was a plan for like an advanced version of Trooper or some kind of humanoid that never made it into it. Those are Troopers again. Oh, the various types of the morph balls of the three suits, which is cool to kind of compare them, actually. It's various bits of Samus. That one, she looks really weird. They've kind of done the proportions out slightly there. Dark suit. Maybe this was an original plan for the light suit or some kind of Luminoth suit. Because it looks kind of like Samus's body plan, but it's very much more like a Luminoth's body than like its armor or anything like that. Yeah, plans for the light suit, which looks very cool. Oh, that's quite cool. Sam oh, that must be for plans for what would look like warping between dimensions. That too. Oh, that's very cool. I love that design of Sanctuary Fortress. It's so cool. And finally, we'll go for the boss package. So this at least shows that it's... There we go. That's the one I was looking for. Worth noting, so that's Dark Amorbus, and it's deliberately there showing the homology with Samus's light suit. You can see it there as well. More of, more of these strong indications that Amorbus is actually a kind of mech of Luminoth design, because these this three-eyed pattern is very common throughout Luminoth stuff, and you can see it again there. It's cool. The design on Dark um, Amorbus is very cool, I must say. Chakalov is a bit more disturbing in its design, and the Chaka itself, actually, the adults. Quadraxis, very nice bit of design, though it is just a giant quad. You never really see that form of it much, because it only does that when it's sucking into you in. It doesn't really spin around it like a gyroscope in that form, like the actual smaller quads do. And that's it without its kind of protective layers. I feel like the body of Quadraxis isn't used that much. You're mostly fighting the floating head. Oh, wow, nice. Very early Dark Samus with her kind of phasing in and out like that. That's really cool. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Some kind of Dark Samus monster coming up the floor. Maybe that was like a final form of her that never made it into the thing. <sighs> Light suit, Luminoth. Well, it's, a, it's just in the boss package, so... Were these all plans for Dark Samus? Yeah, they must have been. Wow. Very interesting what that could have been. Oh, that's disturbing. Oh, that must have been plans for Dark Samus's morph ball with an eyeball in the middle. Oh, that's not okay. I guess that's when you find... That was the kind of the final form they settled on for her. And then the creepy see-through form, where you kind of realise she's definitely Metroid Prime. And I guess they kind of hybridise those all together. And finally the Emperor Ring, who looks very similar to kind of the initial stages, I guess, in the design. Must have settled on that one fairly early. And the final form of Emperor Ring. That's cool. Oh, is that for the actual what the goo inside its mouth looks like? Yeah. Well, those are the various bits of concept art. Hope that was mildly informative for you. <laughs> Next, this is an interesting one, because we filmed this ages ago. Um, the multiplayer. So we got four of us together and we filmed it. Um, the recording worked fine, technically speaking, but we had a fair few control issues during it. I don't know if that's actually was on our end or on the game's end. I remember enjoying the multiplayer as a child, but it was not a lot of fun to play back and we all kind of hated it. But we did it anyway, so in case you are at all interested, here is Metro Prime 2 Echoes' multiplayer. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to one of the bonus episodes for Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. This is the multiplayer. So with me are my delightful associates. Hello Dragon here. Stag here. And Sprite. So we did a bit of a, a bit of a practice of this. And it turns out the multiplayer on Metroid Prime 2 Echoes is not anywhere near as fun as I remember it being. Maybe I'll be... Because like, well, Ooh. Stag, one of the reasons I have you here is we, we played this a fair bit as kids. Mm. We enjoyed it, didn't we? I think it was alright. Maybe. We've played uh, it a lot. 
Yeah, and I think it may be in a way, possibly it was better when it was with the GameCube controllers. Yeah, it was just the Wii accepted that, that everyone would just lock on and that was that. Yeah. Whereas putting, contriving this element of having to aim with a Wiimote doesn't really add with anything, it loses its simplicity now. There are many things going on here, but simplicity is not one of them. Because so I was like, oh, we'll just do a quick practice round just so we at least they'll know what we're doing. And we're like, this is awful. Because basically, as, as you're noticing, you spend a lot of time just up close to someone, both shooting each other and nothing happening. Unless you happen to have got... Yeah, there's a lot of upgrades. seemingly fruitless point uh, blanking people. I cannot seem able to turn my camera. I think the sprites positioned poorly with the sensor. I think oh, well, oh, positioning someone. a sensor bar for four people is, is not easy. I think oh. maybe the issue... Oh, someone darkened me. Who's got oh. the dark beam? I've got my ass oh. wearing the fuck out of me. Yeah. Ow. Oh, I've also got the dark bean. Hello. Oh dear, I'm walking into a wall, so... Oh. I kind of feel that way about life. <laughs> Ooh, super missile. I'll take that. Oh, oh. oh, I don't like this. I'm getting out of here. I, I euthanized this price. I've point blank so much miasma in your face and you're still not dead. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Gonna turn? Oh. No? No? Can I try? Hold on a second, Sprite. Can I try on your remote? No, actually. I think it may be your positioning, but you do seem to be doing quite wide sweeping motions. The motion controls are really like delicate on this, as in you don't actually really move your wrist at all. Oh. I got, oh, I'm, I want to crust you. Oh, I got crusted. Yeah. Oh no, I got crusted. We crusted. Crust. What is jump? Uh, the trigger on the remote. Uh, the, uh, oh, For some yeah. reason, that's not crust. Left hand. Oh. Uh, crust. Uh. I think just time. Crust. Uh. Crust. Crust. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. What's the difference between a lobster with large breasts and a nasty place where you catch a bush? A bush, eh? Yeah. Oh, I cut that up. The punchline, at least, is supposed to be one's a busty crustacean, the other's a crusty bus station. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. it's, it's not good. Is that a punchline? I'm impressed. Yeah. Oh, unlimited beam ammo. That'd be great if I had either of the special beams. Unlimited, yeah, uh, yeah the, the beam is already unlimited. Oh. Well, no, the special beams are, like the dark and light and, 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 and annihilator. I don't know who this oh, is. Oh, the Annihilator. Been, uh, I was trying, I was trying to specifically not say <laughs> Annihilator. So, good one there, me. The, <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got 250. Oh, no, there it oh. goes. Oh, who's this blue prick? <laughs> I have no idea where you are. Crusting you up somewhere. <laughs> Who else is busting for a crust? Oh, damn it. <laughs> slightly what? more entertaining than it was a few minutes ago. But emphasis on the slightly. You're all busted for a crust. Oh, it's so unfortunate. Uh, oh, so I know there's people around me, but I can't see them. No. I can't turn. <laughs> it's like, imagine what it's like to play a first person future if you'd had your vertebrae fused. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely have spinal issues here. <laughs> I'm having issues that have very little to do with my spine. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, uh. it's even hard to tell when you've killed someone. You, you, and even, they fall over. Even if you do successfully kill someone, it doesn't make it obvious. No, and it's like, I think my main issue is the the power beam is awful. I don't remember it being this bad. You're right. I know. Oh. I remember at least being enjoyable, whereas this just feels like you're just... Like, as you say, you get up close to someone and like, this isn't crossfire chaos, this is just two sides just leathering each other and nothing happening. <laughs> oh, hello. Ow! Oh. It feels that like you works. fire an absolute shit ton of ammo into someone. Oh. And they're just like, here, I aim with three super missiles, you just bouncing around like a clown, rather than actually <laughs> feeling like he's taking any amount of damage. Ooh. Is it just because it's very different to, like, Xbox and PlayStation controllers? Is this like- is I mean, yeah, yeah. It's motion it's control, so it's always awkward, yeah. But, as in, the the, the view and then... The, the, yeah. Act. My ability to, yeah, turn my camera and turn the thing seems like they're so disconnected that I have just- What's, no What do you mean by turn the thing? Turn your body and turn, like, turn your direction yeah, and having, turn the it's camera. The same thing. Having to move your hand to turn the camera is very... See, I've got used to it, but I played this game, like, the, the Prime Trilogy version of this that we're currently playing a lot, so... Oh, Dark Visor, nice. Oh, oh. I think it's, it also feels like you can soften someone up for ages and then someone anything. else can That's a great question. It. So in the normal game, lock-on means you can't move around with the cursor. So you just shoot and it hits them. I guess they thought that makes it too easy or something? It's really weird. Yeah, you usually lock-on means 
you were forced yeah, to hit them. Yeah, because I saw on the GameCube version, you did just lock on. Yeah. And we why, all, why and it I became more a game about turn? running around trying to get the power-ups than actually a shooter. Turn. Whereas they've tried to make this a bit more of a shooter oh. and not really... And boy, did they miss, yeah. Crust. Oh, something's oh. gone really janky on my control. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Oh, no, wait. Have we regained control? No. Nope. Have you lost batteries or something? No. Okay. I have just... How have we got four minutes left? <laughs> Well, it's by doing better than I was, so I'm just gonna oh, I leave I it to do its thing. <laughs> What's happened to you? I don't know. I'm not doing anything. I'm not holding the you're controller. Yeah, you know you're in. I'm I'm bottom left screen. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> Away! <laughs> yes, random. Whatever you are. What's it I'm doing? You up I don't know. It's I'm out so of control. The dragon has put his controller down, and that's still happening to him. <laughs> It's now I'm crusty, I can't do anything. <laughs> what does the light beam do? Can you set people yes. on wires? Set them on fire, so like, did you go into Morph Ball there? No, no, I don't think so. Well, you are Morph Balling yeah. around me. <laughs> Any chance you're gonna turn? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? You can have mine if you Like, it shows, it shows the gun moving, and it's just like, yeah, but you're not actually gonna move that way, you're just... You're just gonna point your gun I'm tangling all right, but it's just not a good game. <laughs> the jacket is completely I'm possessed, <laughs> and the sprite is struggling. I'm what the fuck is this? Uh, oh, oh, I shot something. I'm gonna, oh. I'm gonna find the dragon and put him out of his misery. <laughs> yes, save me, someone save me. I wonder if he'd be dead for yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where are you? I, have, I don't know, in a corner somewhere. What color are you? Uh, green. Cool, I'll come and cross you. Yes, please. I think I'm on the right hand court. Wait, I don't know. Which one does right hand mean? <laughs> yeah. which, which screen are you? I'm top right. Top right. I oh, think okay. I'm approaching you. Oh, yeah, yes, there, you uh, are. there I am, yeah. Someone. someone <laughs> Kill <laughs> me! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I've used the noise the dragon. Oh, no, 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 it's not good. Like, there's no problem with being hit. If someone's shooting you, you can just walk away. And then someone else can shoot you once and kill you because you've already been softened up. But he barely softens you up. <laughs> like, literally, I think each hit of the power beam does one damage of the hundred health you have. It does feel a lot like that, doesn't it? God, this is awful. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I've got into well, I'm glad I gyration mode. So, Doctor, are you enjoying the, the actual game anymore? Metroid Prime. Oh, yeah, I love Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. And I, I feel like the motion controls work really well in that, but in this... I mean, they're working on... I'm not having issues with the motion controls, but that might be because A, I'm the the bottom of the screen seems to be where the devil really is happening. <laughs> and also I've played this a shit ton mode, you guys haven't played it before, but even so. <laughs> nice. Oh, sorry. Well done, Dragon. Well apparently it's I, I thought it just, a nunchuck yes. hard brick oh. the entire game. <laughs> what happened? Uh, what? I, I, like moving the nunchuck seemed to fix it, but now I now I have no steering. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> It was, it's just, it was so wrong. Yep, I was the, the, the dragon. The, just, before that, yeah, the, the the Wii remote was working, but the nunchuck wasn't. Now the the nunchuck is working. Do you want to try mine? We'll swap. Yeah, go for it. Okay, I'll swap over the, the thing. You've got a minute of being me. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I'll try and be this lunatic. Oh, oh I'm invisible. Oh. That helps. <laughs> yeah. So you also have no idea where you are. Wait. Also, you've got them in the wrong hands. Have I? Yeah. Oh, that's probably something to do with it. That might be part of it. Sprite's also got them in the wrong hands. Oh. So the right goes in your right hand. What the fuck? No, yours is completely possessed. Yep, yep. It keeps putting me into mothball. What the fuck? Who is driving this? <laughs> is his it's... mind handling okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yours is fine. Mind handles really well. I think literally just... The, I can actually the, shoot with you. The further down the player order you are, the more guff your controls are. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just stuck mothballing into a wall. What the hell yeah. is this? <laughs> It's so confusing. It's such fun, Doctor. No, it's not. Thanks so much for bringing us aboard this. I wanted to, I, I feel good. Oh, no, I, I kind of felt bad it. for not showing this off as a bonus right. episode, but I want, at least we have been able to show how awful it is. It's I'm getting out of it. awful. It's just broken. It just doesn't it's work. It's horribly broken. Uh, like, I'm just stuck more for yeah. I haven't I haven't touched my controller in the since I basically took it off. Wow. That was like <laughs> unexpected. Uh, so what did we think? <laughs> I'm sorry. I shall refrain from saying what I think. I because... think that's such a dumb. I'm yeah. sorry, guys. I'll never do that again. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. This has been an only a ten-minute bonus episode. 
and we'll never speak of it again. <laughs> I've been the doctor, and these have been my compatriots. <laughs> Good, Godspeed. Good day. <laughs>